Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. In this tutorial, you will understand what is patch HTTP method and when to use it. Okay, and you can consider this as one of the commonly asked interview question. As theoretically you know, there are two types of HTTP methods to update an existing resource, put and patch method. Now you might ask why there are two different HTTP methods to perform same kind of operation. Let me tell you. You can go for the put HTTP method. It's always recommended to use if you want to update all the fields of your model or entity. Let's say you have a product object which you can consider as your entity and you want to update each and every field of that object. Then you can go for the put HTTP method. However, patch is recommended to use for partial update. Let's say you have 10 field or more than that on your entity and you want to update the partial field or few of the field from the object then you can go for the patch http methods okay so what we discussed so far is just a theory you will find n number of stuff over google but i want here to show you the practical example of both put and patch method and we will find out the pros and cons in both the methods okay so without any further delay let's get started <laughs> So here already I have defined one crowd application. If you go and check the controller class, I define all the crowd related endpoint. If you begin from the start, I have defined the add product which will save the product to the DV and get products will fetch list of products from the DV, get the product by ID. So this will fetch the single product object by ID and we have also put mapping to update the product and we have also delete mapping to delete the product from the DV. Okay, but if you observe here, we are using put mapping here to update the existing entity. Okay, so what we'll do first, we'll run this put mapping, then we'll find out the drawback when we are doing the partial update using this put mapping. Then we'll try to find out the solution how we can overcome that using the patch mapping. Okay, this is the simple flow we are going to perform. So, first, let me go to the postman, then we'll update one of the existing product objects. Before that, let me show you in the DV, we have the five product here in this table. Okay, so let me zoom this. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five product we have. Now let's go to the postman and then I will filter for slash products endpoint. I want to get the products, right? So just do the get and just send the request. Okay, it's running on port 9191. You can see here we have the five product here. Better I can show this in the browser itself. Okay. Let me go to the Chrome browser and I'll just hit the same endpoint. You can see here, right? We have total five product object present in our DV. Now let me update one of the product object. So I will copy this. Okay. Let's say I just want to update the product, which is the mixer. Okay. Let me copy this. Then I will go to the postman and this I need to change to the put. I will go to the body. Then I will add the body here. I will remove the ID from the request but I need to pass the ID from here. Okay. So this is how I define the endpoint. ID will be the path variable and I have the request body with this information. Now let me beautify this. Yeah. So let's say I just want to update the price to 4.9 and make sure I am giving each and every input. See here, I am not updating the name and I am not updating the description and product type, but still I am giving as part of the request. Okay. Now let me hit this endpoint. The value got updated. Okay. So to verify that again, I will just refresh in the browser. Can you see here the value got updated? That's cool. But if you observe here, even though I am not updating other field still I need to give those information as part of the request which is the wrong designing okay now let's see if I I don't want to update this product type and description okay so I'll simply remove it then let's see how the put method will behave now I'll just update something called 
let's say 5000 only price i am updating but i am giving the value of name even though i am not updating but description and product type i am just removing as part of the request itself and i am doing the put mapping execution okay which is the put http method now let me send the request can you see here the description and product type field value is null here why because we are not giving these two fields as part of the request so the statement is very clear here if you are using put mapping then make sure to include all the field as part of the request even though you are not changing a single value from them okay so you need to keep the entire request body while performing the put method now let me verify same in the DB whether really the value got updated as null in the DB or not so let me run this can you see here the product type and description is getting null here so this is one of the drawback if you are using put mapping to update the field or to update the entity then you must need to pass the entire request body as part of your payload if you will not give that input then the value will be set to the default which is null here okay so to overcome that there is another http method that is patch mapping or patch http method you can use that for partial update so in this case i just want to update the price right so i can use the patch mapping without giving all the request input or all the attribute of my object as part of the payload now let's see how we can use the patch mapping so make sure if you want to perform the full field update then go for only the HTTP method put being a developer i also maximum time use the put mapping not patch mapping but sometimes you will find the use case real time use case where only you need to update either the mobile number or gmail id or a specific unique number then in that case this put mapping will give you such kind of behavior okay so in that scenario you need to go for the patch mapping now how we can implement the patch mapping let's demonstrate that right away okay so let's go to your code then i will write a separate endpoint for partial update i will write it down here you can write a method public let's say it will return the product object okay update product fields or something like that then just give the id because this is what you want to pass as part of your request url so i will use path variable and then you want only those field which you want to update so i can keep them as a as part of key and value in map okay so map key is type string which is nothing your field name which you want to update and value is object okay so I'll name it fields now i need to write a separate method in my service so for now i will just return service dot i'll keep the same method name okay or update product by field update product by fields then i can pass the id and then these fields okay so let me create this method in the service class now let me zoom this first step to update anything first you need to get that from the dv right so i'll use the same logic here to get the existing product by id so i'll simply add it here now once I got the existing product, I want to update few of the fields which I will give as part of the request, not all the attribute of my object. Okay. So what I can do, since this is a map, I can iterate it for each. Okay. I will just give key and value. Then simply I can iterate each key and value. Now here you can use the reflection utils class given by the spring framework to get the field and to set the field dynamically okay so i will show you there is a class called reflection utils makes you to import it from the correct package so you can see here org.springframework.util just import it then find the field okay so of type class product because this is what my entity product.class and the field name you will get from the key right so you can see here the input is map of key and value 
k is nothing the column name or your field name and this value is nothing the value which you want to update okay so you can pass the key here now it will return you the field which field you want to update so let me capture the variable okay so this field you want to update in the product dot class now since we are using the reflection you need to give the set accessible as a true so field set accessible as a true because reflection always oppose the java right so if you are using reflection then make sure to give the access to modify the object now you have the field which you want to update and also you have the value what value you want to update so just set that so again reflection utils i'll copy from here dot set field what is the field you want to update this is the field okay this is the field and then what is the value or what is the object you want to update which is my existing product and what value you want to object update in this object class so the value i will get from the map simply pass it okay now this is done so simple thing guys i have a map of key and value i am simply looping that map so that key will be nothing my variable name and value will be the input value with that value i want to update the object so first i will get the field from this product dot class which exact field i want to update as part of the request then i am just setting that field with the new value and i am telling this object i want to modify that's it now since you modified here just save save this existing product object to the dv so i'll just use return repository dot save give the existing product simple okay so i can simply return it better you can design something like this since we are using the optional i can change it to the optional of product i mean this is the best coding standard if you are using java 8 better to avoid the null pointer exception you can go for this optional okay now here before you are doing anything check whether that object is present or not existing product dot if it is present then only do this logic okay fine why this guy is crying so you need to give the get because this will the optional right i want to save the object so here also you can just do the get okay fine so nothing is there either you throw the exception by writing the else condition or i will simply return the null here okay that's it now let's run this method to check how this partial update is being worked in the patch mapping but before that let's go to the controller and this i need to define the http method right i am not going to use the put mapping here i am going to use the patch mapping you can see here there is a http method called patch mapping just use that and i will also define the id so if you observe this put mapping and patch mapping have contains the same url right slash id slash id so there should be ambiguity but because of the different http method the controller or mbc will not cry he will understand okay this guy is using different http method type with the same url this is also one of the conflict ask interview question okay fine my focus is here to demonstrate about the patch mapping so let's rerun the application so it started now let me go to the postman then what i'll do i will just update this with the actual value okay so here the description is what is the earlier description i didn't remember let's say i'll name it boss and product type is i'll copy from the dv kitchen and home okay so just i am giving the correct value again let's say the price 999 now in this object again i am giving all the field to update so i can remove the id from request so this case put mapping will work as expected now let me run this put mapping is working right all the field whatever i am giving here it's getting updated now again i will remove the description i don't want to update i mean anyway i can remove all the field those who are not 
those value which I am not changing but still if I'll send the request the description is getting null right now what we'll do we'll just try for the patch mapping we'll take some another object and we'll try to update few of the or partial field from that object okay so what I'll do I'll just take any other object let's say I'll take this camera okay let me copy this just this json yeah go to the postman the id is 3 right now let me paste it here so let's say if i want to update a single field and i want to do the put mapping then you need to give all other field like name description and product type now let me update it it's working right now i want to update partial value or partial field from this particular object using the patch mapping I mean already we saw the wrong behavior using the put right if you will not give that value the value will be null but here let's see what will be the outcome let's say I want to update only the price not any other field just remove it you can change it let's say the price I will change it to the 50,000 then change the method type to patch because we want to perform the partial field update now let me send the request the value got the value is not getting changed okay there is something going wrong this value is not being captured so I'll go to the method okay this is what my controller right okay so we missed here the request body that that is the reason the value is not getting captured so meanwhile let me run it in the debug mode so that I can debug the method update product by field and I will show you how the dynamically value will be um, get from the object and how the value will be set so let me stop this and then I will simply run it on the debug mode meanwhile let me add the breakpoint ok so this will face the existing object and this field what all field you want to uh, set as part of request you will capture from the map and then you will find the field here and this will the set field to the DV and this is what the return statement for the for now I just mute the breakpoint let's run one success scenario then we'll just unmute and we'll debug it further so I'll go to the postman so I'll do the same uh, scenario I just want to update only the price which is the partial field for this product of ID3 so let me run it yeah you can see here the value got changed and since I am giving only price none of the value other value which I am not giving as part of the request is not getting populated as a null the way it behaves in the put ok so patch is working for the partial update that is how the recommended HTTP method to use when you are doing the partial uh, update let's say I just want to um, update the description as well let's say I just want to change the description ok so I don't want to change the price let it be just remove it description I just want to change let's say Sony lattice or something like that okay for the product which ID is 3 only I want to update a single field that is called description so just send the request and the value got changed so this is what the partial value I am giving now let me show you let me debug it so I will add another field called I just want to update the price as well as the description ok so let's say I just want to update the price to uh, 60,000 and description any other uh, brand I can give or let it be Sony new arrival anything ok ignore about the spelling mistake fine let me beautify this now I will unmute the breakpoint then I will send the request see here from there are 1 2 3 4 5 field out of 5 I am going to update only 2 field that is what the partial update using the patch now let me send the request now first it will fetch from the DV about the existing product so it will check if that product is present if it is a not null then the flow will go inside and before that can you check here in the map we are giving 2 value right price and description these are the two column I want to update and value of price we are giving 60,000 and description is Sony new arrival ok 
now let's see here now it will this will loop because this will loop two times because we have the two entry in my map so if we'll debug it further it will loop now first it will go from the reflection util and it will find the field from the product class and the key which you are giving okay so it will get the result let me see here the result is this this is the price and somewhere will up type a double somewhere will find the value of it uh, one second but yeah this is what something we got from the reflection so uh, i don't think i can show you the price now but this is what the field we got through the reflection from the product class then next what value we are setting here the field which i want to update and what is the object i want to update this is what the existing product object and what value i want to update for that key is 60000 because the key you can see your price the value is 60000 okay the one loop will be completed then again it will go for the next key which is description you can see here right and the value is sony new arrival so again it will get the field from product object then it will set the field to the existing object this is the field which you want to update where you want to update in this existing object and what value you want to update you will get it from the map itself okay so this is how this reflection utils will helps to update dynamically i mean you can update one field or all the field or a any any number of field you can update using this patch but make sure to use the reflection utils okay so i would strongly suggest to use the patch mapping even though you have a application uh, let's say in that application let's say you have some form page okay there are 10 to 12 field but you want to update only or you want user to have the control to update only five or six field then strongly recommended to go for the patch mapping not put mapping put mapping is fine it will work but make sure you must need to pass all the 10 to 12 field as part of the request which is which will definitely take time to process the or takes time to extract the payload and process it in the dv okay so it's good practice now i believe you are in the state to decide when to use the patch mapping and put mapping do let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept